Donors are at the cross-section between um, their interests and whatever your nonprofit institution does. So in Lincoln Center's case, that means that the potential donor, donor universe would, could embrace <clears throat> an interest in a particular art form, could embrace an interest in a major civic institution that's an economic engine on the Upper West Side, could embrace <clears throat> a major tourist attraction, uh, could embrace <clears throat> an institution that cares a great deal about um, the education of kids, uh, uh, could embrace an institution that provides an enormous amount of free service. So you take a look at um, the spokes of that wheel that reach into various corporate foundation and individual communities. In Lincoln Center's case, that is pretty easily done because most people vote with their feet and find themselves in our concert halls and in our venues. So our donors are literally all around us, many of them. Uh, and so we do some research on them, and then we go see them and talk to them about Lincoln Center. Well, you do a lot of research into the other donors who support other institutions that do similar work. So if you're trying to raise money for theater, you look at a lot of theater playbills and see uh, who's given generously to theater, who's on theater boards, who are theater producers. Um, if you're uh, raising money for ballet, you'll look at dance companies. Um, if you're raising money on the Upper West Side, uh, you'll look at uh, uh, people who live on the Upper West Side, care about uh, the community that thrives. So uh, your research is very much a function of what you're raising money for or where your institution is situated, uh, functionally and geographically. Mm -hmm.